Yo, what up, man? It's your Source Kid official, Tory Lanez, and right now, y'all are watching Clout 9. Skydiving. I give that a zero because I'm very scared of heights. Uh, but you know, I, I'm, I'm curious. I think one day maybe it might be like some lucky lady out there that just like, I might just do it with her and it just might be okay. Like I need somebody who has to be like less masculine than me to just be like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm going. Like, you know what I mean? To, to, to probably make me do it, so I don't know. <laughs> Guacamole, you get a zero. <laughs> <laughs> a zero, bro. I, I, don't, I don't mess with avocados. I don't mess with guacamole. I don't mess with, I, I don't even be liking the substance of certain stuff in my mouth. I'm not, I, I'm, and I'm, I'm like a, uh, I'm like the wrong guy to speak on this because I haven't even, even tried you guacamole. Like I, I don't even be going near to you. Like I be seeing people eat you all the time. I, I'm staying away from it. Anything, anything green with sauce, I ain't. Leave me alone. I'm <laughs> Yo, I give ramen noodles a nine. Worldwide, across the board, it's lit. Straight W's, straight to ramen noodles, to Merchan, to Top Ramen, to um, to cup couple noodles, to cup noodles. The reason why, and, and for anybody who's really eating ramen, and from back in the days, you know there was a difference between the cup O noodles and the cup noodles. I just wanted to join, you know what I'm saying? There's a difference, the Merchan and the Top Ramen, and the, and the Nissan brand. And then, is it Nissan? It's Nissan, right? N-I-S-S-A-N, I don't know if I'm saying y'all name right, but y'all held me down many nights. Ramen noodles, nine. Nine. Um, I'm an avid weed smoker. I smoke a lot of weed. Uh, I'm high right now. <laughs> um, nah, but you know, like, I, I think that is very good if, if you're a functional weed smoker. So it's a nine for me because, like, I'm a very productive weed smoker. Like, I don't, I don't smoke just to sit there and chill on the couch. Like, I smoke to do productive things, even though I, I can do it without it. But at the same time, I get a little bit more creative, think a little bit differently from different aspects or from different aspects and outlooks. So I give weed a nine. I give money like a, a, a five. The reason why I, why I say that is because money is very important to the aspect of like, yeah, we need money to do certain things. But I do think that money also gives people, uh, money kind of makes people who they really are. If someone's a dickhead and like they're, you know, trying to be nice until they get up there. When they get the money, they're gonna be a dickhead. SoundCloud, I give that a nine. SoundCloud, um, it shaped my career a lot. Thank you to everybody who helped me on SoundCloud and who helped uh, my stuff pop, you know, because at the end of the day, that was my lane of putting out free music. And I've been having this kind of like battle with myself because I'm known for just giving out so much free material. The only uh, contradiction or the only like clash that I think ha happens there is Sometimes you just feel like the stuff you put out for free is just so hot that you're like, man, like I want to be able to get a plaque for this one day. I want to be able, uh, I want this to be able to be eligible for something that's important. Like, you know, I want to be able to get an award off this, but you can't really do that when things are just out for free and not on DSPs and stuff like that. I think the, the hook is very important. I think the hook is the most important part of the song. I think the hook, kind of says it all. It, it says whether or not this is going to be fire or this is not going to be able to be carried all the way through. You know, you could be great with the verses, but I feel like if you have an incredible solid hook, it doesn't really matter what you do on the verses, you know? It, <laughs> it's like, all right. In a world where we're not just taking music for music, the hook to me is, is a nine and the verse is like a seven or a six. Flexing on your ex is definitely a non. I think that's very important. I think that is very important that everybody gets a certain amount of flexing on their ex. I feel like it's just, it's a good get back feeling. You know when an ex has seen your flex, when, when they hit you back either for two things, when they hit you really mad out of nowhere or they hit you on some real congratulations. I like the way it's going, but they don't really like the way it's going. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get those a six, not even, I get those a four. I feel like long distance relationships ain't really real because I feel like at the end of the day, if you really wanted to be in a long distance relationship, I just kind of feel like the, the moving pieces and no pun intended, don't really make sense. Like how, I just find it weird that somebody's so far away, but you guys are supposed to have a 
consistent, uh, you know, just amount of attention that you hold for each other. So the fact that that's not able to kind of really be there, I find it a little strange. Plus you just never know what's going on. It could be somebody as saucy as you out there talking to you. <laughs> You're talking to your partner, you know? Marriage, I give marriage a nine. I think marriage is good if you find the right person. I think that if you can't find the right person, then it might be a little shaky. You know, I think that before you do get married, I think that it should be for the right reasons. I think that no matter what, you should always think about like, do I really want to marry this person? Like, am I going to feel the same way 50 years down the line? You know, I think marriage just needs to be taken seriously and it's a good thing. So I give it a nine for sure. Cup and season, um, I give that a nine. It, 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 it really helps me sell a lot of records. I dropped, I dropped something in, in, in cup and season called the Chicks Tapes. And those, those, those do well in, in, in the winter time. There's got to be a time when people are just like, Yo, it's getting cold out here. I need, you know, it like when, come, come November, come November, all that, all that stuff stops. You know what I'm saying? Come November, be dialing up, calling up. Yo, shorty, where you been? Ah, I see you on summer. Ah, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs>